Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. Here we'll see how to pass a callback as a function parameter. Now here I have a very basic Flutter app up and running and this is a stateless class and the stateless class is calling another stateless class and that shows our elevated button. And if we tap on this, really nothing happens. The, the first thing we want to do, we want to create a class over here. So let's go ahead and create a class. Well, you can name it anything you want. So I'm going to call it callback class. And then over here, I'm going to create a method. I'm going to call it callback method. And then over here, I'm going to uh, pass uh, or create a print statement, which will say, now at the top in our class over here, I'm going to create an instance of this. So I'm going to call it ver obg. And then I'll, I'm going to call the class that we have created. The class is callback callback class all right and after that over here the object is created so inside this unpressed event we can do obj dot uh, callback method this one and with this we'd be able to pass we'd be able to print the statement that has been written over here so let's go ahead and tap on this and here we see that it says it tapped but of course so far it's been a very basic thing now what do we want to do as we call this function actually we want to pass another function and that function will pass to this one as a callback function now inside our first class over here this class and over here inside this class i'm going to create a private method is the function that we created we want to pass over here now to be able to do that the first thing we have to do over here, we have to take the name. Let's go ahead and take it and put it over here. Of course, it's going to throw error because this method over here should also be able to take a function. Remember, this is a function, right? We are passing the function name. So the method signature over here should have the function name, a uh, uh, function type as well. So here we do function and you can call it anything. All right, that's all. Now, of course, right now, right, a, right away, if we go ahead and run it, nothing's gonna change at all, actually. Let's click on this and we still see that tapped, right? Okay, so that's what happens. Now, one thing we could do over here, right after tapped, actually, we can call this one, pass tapped, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and check it over here. Now we'll see first this has been printed and then this one. Let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, so this one and then this log has been printed. So what we did over here just now, we created a function, this is the function, and we passed this function to another function, which is callback method. So what we are doing, we are passing a method or a function to another function. So this is called passing a callback. Why? Because you see, there's an unpressed event. So even triggers, this function gets called. Okay, so that's how it works. So that's the first thing about a callback function. Now, if you have a callback function and if you want to pass parameters, you can also do that inside this as a method signature over here and how to do that. So say over here, you wanna pass something, okay? You wanna say you wanna pass a string from here, okay? And then we need to receive it over here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So here uh, we can say name, all right? And then what are you gonna, we're gonna see over here is this one. So we are going to print it. So let's see what's gonna happen. Let me recap it. So we are calling this one. And as we call this one, this method would only get called once we tap on this button. So once we tap on this button, this is gonna print, okay, right? Because we, it is being called from here. And at the same time, we are passing a string. So that string we are printing over here, and this is what we'll see. So let's restart. Uh, let's tap on this, beautiful. So this is the log from the very earlier section. And then this is the log is being printed over here. And this is the other log that we are passing and being printed over here. Yeah, so that's how calling a callback and passing parameters work.